just to give you a little bit of background on myself, I did not grow up in a Christian home. I didn't go to church. I didn't go to youth group. Um, my parents weren't Christians, so I grew up effectively as an atheist, got saved, uh, started working as a youth pastor, and now I speak for Creation Ministries. <laughs> That'll stretch your brain. You know, folks, I, I, I would love to do a talk and, and, you know, talk about revival, and I hear some preachers, you know, talking about these things, and folks... You know what the number one responsibility of any Christian parent is? Evangelize your kids. I would love to come up with some method to just, you know, turn everything around, but why don't we just not lose this generation? Our young people need answers to the questions that they're going to get hit with. They need to study it too. It's a two-step process. Number one, build your own faith to the point where you can confidently answer questions about the accuracy of Scripture. Creation, evolution, all those things that we're getting hit with. And then, secondly, confidently witness as God brings opportunities. You know, when you're ready to witness, it's fun. When you're equipped, when you're ready, it's kind of like, go ahead, let's go. Let's go. You know, you're, you're, you're ready to roll, right? Because you're equipped. When you're not equipped, it's not a fun thing. I think a lot of Christians, you know, they go out there and they know they should share their faith, but all of a sudden, bang, you get a shot in the nose and you don't know how to answer, understand, you know, answer the question and you're kind of embarrassed and you just don't do it anymore. See, 1 3, Peter 3.15 says, In your hearts, honor Christ the Lord as holy, always being prepared to make a defense to anyone who asks you for a reason for the hope that is in you, yet do it with gentleness and respect. 